My name is Stella and I'm 25 years old. I love my job, but in order to get it, I had to go through a lot. Let me tell you. When I was 17 years old, I was a pretty normal girl. I went to school, went out with my friends, and I liked to spend my free time at the beach. I lived very close to the ocean, and since I was little, surfing has been my passion. My father taught me how to get on a surfboard when I was just 5 years old, and since then, I love riding the waves. That summer, as always, I would teach surf lessons at a surf school in my town. That way, I could make a bit of money while training without having to pay. Every year, I met many boys and girls, most of them very young, while the older ones trained with specialized supervisors. Because of that, I frequently had to deal with her parents, and that's how my story begins. One afternoon, one of my students hit himself really hard with his surfboard. We quickly took him out of the water and took him to a medical center. He hit his head really hard, so a doctor had to check him up. I was very scared, nothing like that had ever happened to me before. I obviously had to call his family. His father answered, very worried, and immediately came to the clinic. As soon as he arrived, he started yelling like crazy. He said it was all my fault and was blaming my boss for having such a young girl in charge of children. You will remember this, you just ruined your future. I felt horrible, I knew it wasn't my fault, but everyone was judging me as if it was. As soon as the doctor said that the kid was fine, I went home without even saying goodbye. I gradually started to calm down, but even then, I still didn't feel like giving lessons that week. I called my boss and asked him if I could not go to work for a few days, and he accepted. I spent that time hanging out with my friends, surfing and watching sunsets. To be honest, it really helped me clear my mind and see everything differently. Until one day, when I was at a bar, the father of the child who was hurt showed up. I couldn't believe it, he was coming directly towards me. My first reaction was to escape, since I didn't want him to make any trouble at the bar. So I stood up and ran towards the beach. The jaws of my friends dropped when they saw that scene. Me running to the beach and an old man chasing me. They then stood up to see what was going on, but before they could reach me, the man caught up to me. He had a wad of bills in his hand and I didn't understand what was going on. He told me that he just wanted to apologize to me and compensate me for what happened. I didn't know if I wanted to laugh or run away. It was all too surreal. I told him I didn't want his money at all, but he kept on insisting and insisting until I just accepted his apologies and asked him to leave me alone. I thought that would be the end of it and I could finally forget about what happened, but nope. As soon as I went back to work, my boss told me that he needed to talk to me. He told me that one of the most prestigious surfing schools in the country had seen me surf and they wanted to train me. I couldn't believe it, I was so happy. That was the opportunity I've always dreamed of. However, everything went sour when my boss told me that the talent scout who saw me was that man, the child's father. I couldn't believe it. Was that part of his supposed compensation towards me? I wanted to surf professionally, but not thanks to favoritisms. I told my boss that I couldn't accept under those conditions. I wanted to earn it through my own merits. He couldn't believe that I was rejecting such a one-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And I couldn't understand either how the situation could have gone so wrong. I went back home completely devastated and even thought about leaving surf behind forever. However, the next week my mother gave me a letter which said that I had been accepted at the professional surfing school and that my inscription was completed and formalized. The man had spoken with my parents, and since I was still underage, they filled the paperwork under my name. Nowadays, I visit the main beaches of the world looking for the best waves. I achieved my dream, and I know I'm very good at what I do. However, a bit of uncertainty will always haunt me. Would I still be where I am right now if it weren't for that one accident? Thus, your life sag as well, and you want to share it with us. Send us your story to storiesmylifesags at gmail.com and don't forget to follow us on social media to find out if you are the protagonist of our next video.